Friends, let's have a big round of applause to all of our youth and children performers. So good evening and welcome to our Christmas Eve service here at Central Okanagan United Church. No matter who you are, no matter where your life has taken you in the past or where it may lead you in the future, no matter who you love or how you identify, you are welcome here and we give thanks that you have found your way to us this day, this holy Christmas Eve. Whether you are here in the sanctuary with us Enjoy, enjoying it on Zoom or following along on Facebook Live or watching it a little later in the week or tomorrow morning, welcome. It is good to have you with us. Uh, first of all, deep gratitude. Uh, if you uh, came in a little bit early, you got to hear some of our young people performing, and I want to thank each and every one of them. Uh, Islin Vernay, Elliot Shippett, Brock Campbell, William Campbell, Alexander Campbell, Charlotte C. Toller, Andrea Velasquez Rojas, uh, let me see who I have, Francis and Sophia Chason, and Noah Chason. Thank you all very much for sharing your gifts this evening. Uh, we also want to, sh want to thank the Levine and Campbell families who are helping with the drama tonight. Uh, the Guppinger family who are lighting the Advent wreath, the children's choir that will be singing later in the service. And we welcome you to all visitors. Uh, good to have you with us. And maybe if you've never been here before, if you're visiting, or if you're from out of town, just wave. We won't make you introduce yourself or anything, but just look at them all. That's wonderful. Great to have you with us. So we invite you to linger after the service for a little coffee and hot cider and cookies if you have time. There is no Santa gifts because, you know, we'll be out of here before midnight. But, <laughs> but we will have some cookies to share and some refreshments, so please join us. Um, if you are wanting to uh, support the congregation financially, there's a few ways to do that. We do not pass an offering plate here. There's a box, a uh, wooden box at this entrance and at the back entrance uh, where you can drop uh, your uh, financial donations. There's also on the back of the pew in front of you, you will see a QR code because that's who we are. <laughs> 
we managed to figure out how to get a QR code so that you can go directly to Canada Helps and make a donation there. We keep learning. Amazing what COVID will do for people. And so we begin. And we begin by acknowledging that the lands on which we gather are the traditional unceded territories of the Silk Okanagan people. They were here for many, many, many years before any of us, any of our ancestors arrived. They see this land as sacred and holy land. They have been caring for it and nurturing it all of these years. And so as an act of, of reconciliation, we too want to honor the land, want to respect the land and respect and honor its first peoples. And so we say deep gratitude to the Silks Okanagan people for the way in which they have cared for the land that we are now on. And we will sing together, come, come Emmanuel, and the screen will have the words. be seated and please join me in our responsive call to worship I will read the light print and you can respond with the bold candles are lit Christmas music is being played excitement is in the air the awe of this holy night is upon us we gather seeking the Christ child whose birth is both mystery and delight we come to celebrate the newborn child with Mary and Joseph. We come to rejoice that God's symbol of love is a tiny, helpless baby. We come to sing praises with the shepherds for what God has done. So let us sing.
Isn't it? Oh, thank you. Uh, because I just wanted to say that in all the excitement of the music and talent, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Ivy Thomas. Cheryl Perry is here. And Keith um, Simmons is down here. And we have Jessica. And we have, um, oh, what's her name there, Frances? <laughs> and a slew of volunteers who are also helping with tonight. So I um, thought I'd better get that in, and now I introduce the uh, Guffinger family. Thank you. Fear not, the angels say, I bring you tidings of great joy. Love is born in a lowly manger, not just on this night, but again and again and again. Love is born and reborn in our hearts, bringing hope, peace, joy, and forgiveness. Christ is with us tonight and always. Thanks be to God. Amen. if there are some young people who would like to join me at the front for a few minutes tonight. Hello, Sarah. Come on in. Why don't you I'm sit? Next to you. Yes, why don't you sit right down here so that you can see when I open this up and everybody else can see too. Pop down right here. That's great. Hi, Madeline. Good to have you with us. Hello, Logan. Yes, good to have you all with us. Well, I wonder who is just a little bit excited that it's Christmas Eve. Yeah? <laughs> Noah says, how did that happen so fast? Yes, pretty excited. And what are you excited about? Christmas. You're excited about Christmas. Tomorrow morning, Christmas? Okay. Wow. What are you excited about, Elliot? You had Christmas already with one part of your family. Yeah, and tomorrow will you have some more? Yes, Logan, what are you excited about? Family gatherings. Yes, it's wonderful to have people that we love close to us coming over to uh, maybe eat a meal with us or to open gifts. How many of you are excited about gifts? Be honest. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're a pretty exciting part of Christmas, aren't they? Especially the surprising ones. Jonathan, is that what you were going to say? Okay, you're going to share Christmas morning with your dog. And you have a grandpa here all the way from Mexico, yeah? Visiting, so some very special family has come to visit too. Well, I wonder how many of you have something, some boxes like this under the tree? Yeah? Are some of them for you, Madeline? Yeah, how do you know which one's for you? 
Oh, it has your name on it. There's a. You don't know. Well, sometimes you're absolutely right, Sarah. There is something that on a box like this that identifies who's it for, who's for. It's a tag. Yeah. So this box I found this present under the tree over there, and I'm kind of wondering um, who who do you think it might be for? Not you. You're pretty sure it's not for you. Wouldn't it be cool if it was? Anybody have any thoughts on who it might be for? Maybe multiple people. I was. I thought you were going to say it might be for one of the ministers. Maybe somebody left a gift under the tree for us. Jonathan. The whole congregation. Well, you know what? There's a tag on it, so maybe we should read it. Uh, you're way back there, but maybe you can see. What does the tag say? to everyone everyone whoa everyone that's here tonight i wonder if the the one who gave this gift knew how many people were going to be here tonight i wonder if what's in the box is going to be enough for everyone that's here tonight it'd be kind of awkward if it wasn't do you think we should open it sarah yeah. yes okay i'm going to put it on the floor so you can gently and carefully because it could be fragile what's in here we don't know so we're going to be really careful when we open it what's inside oh, there is something what is it what is it you know it's baby jesus right wow and the birth of jesus is a gift for everyone so i guess the tag was right it is a gift for everyone and do you know where that baby jesus goes well all through the weeks of advent madeline we have been building a crash scene do you see that nativity scene over there in the corner not just yet and all through the weeks of advent we've been adding to it so on the first week i'm going to let the kids that were here that can tell you what did we put in on the first sunday of advent Noah? Straw. straw, right, to make it nice and cozy. Did you do that at home too? And what that was my visitor? Right, you were here that Sunday. That's right, we put the straw in, and do you know who we were waiting for to come the next week that needed the, co the cozy straw? Can you guess? Baby Jesus. Well, eventually, baby Jesus, but some sheep, yeah, because we had to make it nice and cozy for some sheep. And then the week after that, we had some people to take care of the sheep who are called shepherds and last sunday we put in two important figures mary and joseph right so tonight tonight jonathan we need to put in baby jesus and you know what i i think that you spied already the place that he's supposed to go would you like to with your sister go and put baby jesus in there because i think it's our tradition here the youngest person that's here puts baby jesus in and i'm pretty sure that's you this year so while the congregation sings infant holy infant lowly they're going to put the baby jesus in the manger and the rest of you are going to stay put because you're in a perfect spot to see what happens next. Are the are the lambs asleep yet, dear? 
Not quite. They seem a little restless tonight, but I think they're finally settling down. Uh -huh. You know, I, I suppose they could count each other as they fall asleep. <laughs> oh, come, dear. It's cold and you sound tired. <sighs> The night watch started out routinely enough. The sheep were bedding down for the night. Stars twinkled in the cloudless sky. The moon cast a soft glow over the hills of Bethlehem. Sounds like a quiet night. Yep, cold too. No sign of rain though. But it sure is cold. It's so clear. Yep, cold. All the same, I love nights like these. Look at the stars. Away from city lights, not a cloud in the sky. And cold. Look at that star, it's so close. I don't remember seeing a star so close. While they were watching and shivering, but mostly watching, suddenly a dazzling figure appeared before them. The angel said, don't be afraid. I haven't come to harm you. Quite the contrary. I have good news for you, the best news possible. A baby boy is born tonight in Bethlehem, and he's the Messiah. Go, look, and you'll find the baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a party bunch. Those shepherds, not much bothered them. They could handle anything from club-wielding poachers to snarling mountain lions. <laughs> but this was more than they could handle. The glory shining from the angel's face knocked them over. Hey, get up! Come on, come on there, get up! Oh, for heaven's sake, Elsie, they're out cold. Honestly, Roger, all shepherds are are as alarm clocks with feet. <laughs> Big sticks, too. I hate those sticks. No snooze buttons either. We sheep need sleep. Well, I guess they do scare away the wolves. Right now, they couldn't scare away Foxglove. <laughs> well, dear, it's up to us. You heard the angel. Uh, yes, I guess we'd better wake the flock and get them moving. Where would they be without us, eh? Snoring through their moment of glory, no doubt. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, everyone. Wake up, look alive. Bob. Uh, I think we better have some help, Roger. Yes, it doesn't seem to be working. Perhaps you children could help, maybe some of you adults too. Let's hear you, ba. <laughs> 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 Not bad, not bad. Now, all together then, on the count of one, two, three. Ah. 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 Huh? Oh, my head. Did that just happen? What do we do now? I guess we go to Bethlehem.
Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in cloths, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay in the inn. Certainly is crowded in here, even for a city. I think I'm going to keep my mask on. <laughs> little, a little too crowded for my taste. I much prefer the open hills. I don't like stables. They smell. Now, dear, don't complain. What are we to do? Try pitching your nose together. Roger, that's not what I meant. I mean, why have we stopped here? Well, I don't know. Maybe to ask directions at last. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, Roger, listen. But why here in this awful place? The man said, arrived late by all on account. His wife was so pregnant that there was no rooms available. Everything's full. But she was going into labor. They took shelter here, and now the baby's been born. Sure is cute. Angels went away from them back into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel had said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back singing praises to God for all they had heard and seen. It had been just as the angels had told them. The good news of the gospel. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
name's Keith Simmons. I am one of many people in ministry here at Central Okanagan United Church. It's good to see you all here this evening. My part of the evening is to acknowledge the offerings that are made in this place. There are so many ways that people offer of themselves, the gifts that they bring. Every day of the week, there's something happening here, or some place where we hold one another and walk together in the light of Christ. And on this day, if, if there are ways that uh, you'd like to offer, then we have offering boxes and electronic ways and all the stuff that we've learned in the last couple of years about how to transfer funds if we need to. As we think of the offerings, the offerings of love and the love poured out in this place and all throughout the world and in uh, a way that we were taught by the one who came to teach us the way, let us, uh, let us consider that as we hear the music that takes us through this time of offering. As Bill brings the offering forward, let us gather ourselves and offer, offer ourselves in prayer. Let us pray. 
God of love, we offer these gifts for your church and your world. But most of all, we offer you the gift of our hearts, ready to receive the gifts of new life and hope you offer in the babe of Bethlehem. Help us to share your gifts to us in our love and our care for others and through our love and our care for your world. Amen. Now, perhaps a time to reflect on where we are in this world of ours, in this place, because we offer the prayers of the people. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for this beautiful, incredible place that you have placed us on. Our mountains and valleys now covered in snow and strapping some of us to tiny boards to ski down mountains. Some of us more sensibly on snowshoes or other places, enjoying creation and relation and being one with you. As we draw the sharp, clear breath of winter, help us to remember that all around the world, your children, those who come in response to Christ's call to love, are celebrating now the birth of the child, as we have celebrated for so long. Help us to give thanks for your creation and all our relations. And as we wended our way to church on this night and saw that some of our relations are still in uh, what our government calls temporary, um, acceptable temporary outdoor accommodation, help us to find ways to encourage our leaders to stand forward and be courageous themselves and house us all and bring us all into the warmth of love and, and into into warmth and love and care and out of the cold winter's night. Here are prayers for those who shiver yet in winter's cold and our prayers for those who have the power to do something and help us to know that that's us too, and that we too might respond to the baby's cries and a call to love. On this night, we consider all the places in the world where folk continue to struggle to find ways to the paths of peace, to live into the true Shalom that Christ taught us can exist within our hearts and our world. We remember that there are places of deep struggle and yearning and our hearts and our thoughts and our prayers and our resources go to those places. And as we consider Christians around the world, let us think particularly of those folk in Bethlehem, friends amongst whom I lived for a while, people who respond to the call to the love as their ancestors did, the people of Shepherd's Field who on this night consider, continue to live under a, another occupation. May they find peace and love and blessing as well. Loving God, you call us all into relationship. Help us to set down our fears so that our hands might be open to receive your love. And hear us now as we sing together the words that Christ came to teach his friends and they taught ours. God of twinkling stars and magical nights, we thank you for the timeless story of Jesus' birth. May the beauty of this special night remain in our hearts. May the wonder of this holy time fill us all with hope and peace. And may we go from this place and continue telling the story of Christmas blessings with joy. 
Amen. And our closing hymn is Joy to the World. translation of this for you before I pray because it isn't in it. Uh, so the text is, Mary wandered through a thorny road, which had not carried leaves for seven years. What did Mary carry beneath her heart? A little child without sorrows. And when the child was carried through the forest, then the thorns carried roses. Thank you. 